welcome. In this session we will talk about what taxonomies are and why we use taxonomies and this array to model knowledge. We will then have a look at some use cases. First, we need to understand what a taxonomy is. A taxonomy is a model of a small part of the world. In a taxonomy you describe your domain. You describe things that are important in your domain and you describe the relationships between those things. You can model everything you know about a domain in a taxonomy. Because of this, taxonomies are also called knowledge models. The taxonomies you build and maintain within Pool Party are machine readable. This means that you can build applications based on the knowledge you model in the taxonomy. Let's recap. In a taxonomy or thesaurus, you define and structure your domain. Your domain is that small part of the world that is of interest to you. Your domain can be your customers, or your products, or geology, or any other topic that you are interested in. This taxonomy or thesaurus then represents your knowledge model. Your knowledge model contains structured information about your domain that can be understood and used by an application. Now we know that a taxonomy is a machine-readable model of a knowledge domain. Next, we will take a look at why we would use taxonomies to model knowledge. Another very simple type of knowledge model that is often used in enterprises are term lists. A term list is a flat list of words or terms that have something to do with a domain. The limitation of flat term lists lies in the fact that they say something about a domain but it is not defined what exactly that something is, only that it has something to do with the domain. Taxonomies, on the other hand, are much more expressive knowledge models. In a taxonomy you have clearly defined relationships between concepts. In a simple taxonomy you have a hierarchical structure. This means that you have parent-child or broader, narrower relationships between your concepts. Taxonomies are also very flexible. They grow with your needs. The more complex the information that you want to model becomes, the more expressive your taxonomy can become. You can add additional types of relationships, such as associative relations, or even specify your own type of relations. These characteristics of taxonomies offer specific advantages. One advantage is that along the hierarchy of a taxonomy it is easy to aggregate information. Another advantage is that within a taxonomy all concepts are embedded in a context. This means that additional information about a concept can be derived by following the concept's defined relations. Let's take a look at an example. Say we are interested in the domain of cocktails. We decide to model our knowledge about cocktails in a taxonomy. We want to model the different ingredients of cocktails and which cocktails they go into. We have our cocktails and we have our ingredients. For ingredients we distinguish between beverages, garnishes and fruit. We then also create relationships between ingredients and cocktails. With this very simple structure we can already infer quite a bit of information from any one of the concepts in the thesaurus. If we take a look at the gin sour we can know that it is a cocktail and we know that it is related to gin, sugar and lemon. Now we have seen that taxonomies are very expressive and flexible knowledge models. They are expressive enough to model very complex information. They are flexible and grow with your needs. You can start out with a very simple taxonomy with just a hierarchical structure and proceed to increase your taxonomy's expressiveness with growing requirements for modeling more complex information. Now let's take a look at some use cases. We will see a few examples of typical use cases of taxonomies in an enterprise environment. 
There are many more ways in which taxonomies can be leveraged to help overcome business challenges. Maybe these examples will inspire you to think about how you could use taxonomies to tackle knowledge management issues in your company. As a first example, let's take a look at how a media and publishing company could benefit from using taxonomies. If you work in media and publishing industries, you will be acutely aware of the need as well as the difficulty of adding high-quality metadata to your content. Taxonomies are perfect for that. In your taxonomy, you will manage tags and other metadata. You can then use your taxonomy or thesaurus to automatically or semi-automatically annotate your content. This means that you can either trust the system to annotate your content fully automatically or to support your editors by suggesting tags while still allowing them to add, delete or suggest new tags. The tags that your editors add manually can even be incorporated into your taxonomy, thereby continuously improving your taxonomy. You can also use your taxonomy already at the content creation stage by supporting your authors to use a consistent vocabulary. This will make your editor's work much easier and also go a long way towards search engine optimization. As a first example, we have seen that using taxonomies in publishing and media is handy for managing metadata, tagging content automatically or semi-automatically, supporting your authors with a consistent vocabulary and search engine optimization. As a second use case, Let's take a look at how you could use taxonomies to organize your webshop. Say you have a large number of different products with a set of characteristics such as color, size, brand and so on. You also have different uses with different profiles, preferences and search patterns. Maybe you also have additional information such as blog posts or promotional material you want to be able to suggest to users with a certain profile or material you want to suggest together with certain products. Within a thesaurus you can model all this information. You can create a knowledge model that structures your products and digital assets. You also model your users with their preferences and behaviors. Then you define the relationships between your content and your users. With these defined relationships between users and content that are modeled in your taxonomy, you can build a content recommender that supplies each user with precisely the right products and promotional material, based on their profile or such behavior. In Pool Party, it is easy to do the modeling, and you create your knowledge model in a format that can be directly consumed by applications. And you can use your taxonomy not just for content recommendation. You can also base your webshop menu navigation, your search and your landing pages on the knowledge model in your pool party. Taxonomies can also help a lot with search engine optimization of your webshop. As a third example, I would like to show you how you could use taxonomies to improve your internal data and knowledge management. With a taxonomy or thesaurus, you have a knowledge model that you can connect to a wide array of different data types. You can use your taxonomy to bridge the gap between structured and unstructured data, between data in relational databases, text-based data in content management systems, and digital assets in any other format. As soon as you have a knowledge model in place that adds a uniform layer of metadata to all your different data sources, you can have applications that use the full range of the data you have, but have not been able to use jointly before. Doesn't that sound great? Having one interface through which you can access the wealth of all your data. You can even add analytics and visualizations on top to get a quick idea of what data you have. As a last use case example, we have seen that taxonomies can be used to linking structured and unstructured data. You can integrate and unify your data warehousing strategies and build applications that can access data from many different sources. Let's recap what we have heard in this session. We have learned that a taxonomy is a machine-readable model of a knowledge domain. 
We have also heard that taxonomies are very expressive and flexible knowledge models. We have talked about a few use case examples. How taxonomies can help managing content in media and publishing industries. How taxonomies can help personalize content in webshops. And how taxonomies can help integrating data.